Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm going to share with you how I made these unicorn themed junk journal pages using Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, stencils, and a rubber stamp. So let's get started here. So what I've got here is a box that I have my paper in. This is a green flecked linen uh, text weight paper that I got several years ago. And I thought, you know, I need to use this. So that's what I'm doing is I am putting it in here. And once you spray it with the Tattered Angels, you don't notice that it was a green color. It changes. So anyhow, I have got here the woven box stencil. And then I have the silhouettes that come with the unicorn stencil. I'm going to lay those in here. I've got a few colors of Tattered Angels. I've got So Rockin', which is from the So Artsy uh, subscription box that I set up. But this is an add-on paint that you can get for $25.99. It's six colors. So I'm going to use a little bit of the So Rockin'. And then I've got the Artsy Patina. That's part of the same so artsy kit. I have a Maya blue. So I like the little bit darker shade that it brings. And then I've got Punked Purple from the Punked Out Steam Glimmer Mist set. And I like this purpley pink color. All right, so now I've added all those colors on there. And we're going to take another sheet of paper and lay it on top. And what we're doing is we're mopping up on top of the stencil design. So whenever you're using a stencil with Tattered Angels, go ahead and lay a piece of paper on top of that stencil to mop up that color. So basically you couldn't get two for one for doing this. All right, so I'm just kind of letting it soak into the paper for a moment. And then I'm going to carefully peel these apart and see the page that came together there isn't that pretty with the unicorn and the other pattern right beside behind it and then here's what it looks like when we lift the stencil so we've got the void where the unicorns were and you had that awesome watercolor effect in the background so what i'm going to do is dry these and then we'll flip them over and do the other side Okay, so I have flipped the page over. This is the design on this side. This paper is a 24 pound weight, so it's a little bit thicker, and the Tattered Angels doesn't really bleed through that much. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I want to take these off, uh, one of the stencils again, the boxed stencil, and I'm going to spray the back side with the same color palette with the So Rockin'. And we've got the Artsy Patina. And we've got the Maya Blue. And then we're going to do the Arts uh, Pumped Purple. I like to use a lot of Tattered Angels. And then we're going to lay this on the back side. I don't worry about that the stencil didn't go all the way to the edge. I think it gives it character to the design but you could you know get a little bit more precise but I think it's part of the nature of playing with tattered angels what do you think isn't that kind of cool and then here's with the other page sometimes I get a little heavy-handed and it bleeds under but I like it I like the way it looks all right so let's dry these or at least one so I can show you the stamping technique and then I'll show you another stencil design all right, so you know, we've got our sprayed pages. You could be done there. If that's all you want to do to your page, you can. I'm just going to show kind of another step that you could take. I'm going ahead and I'm folding it in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp around the edges. So I'm just grabbing a scrap of paper here. I've got one of the distressed 
no, textured edges. I keep calling it distressed. It's textured edges is the name of the stamp. And I'll have these products in the description box below. And you can also visit my blog where you can see more photos uh, as outside of the video, if you will. And also where you can see other tutorials that I share there as well. All right. So, and remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. So I'm inking it up with Ranger ink, archival ink. It's jet black. And I've got it on an acrylic block. It's a stamp from Beeline Designs. It's one of those cling mount. And I'm just lining it up the best I can to the edge and stamping it. Now, I've kind of got a gap here. And if that bothers you, sometimes it bothers me, just go back with that same stamp and stamp over it. And it'll just kind of fill it in just a little bit. Gives it a little bit of a grungy look. So I'm just going to take this stamp and stamp again down the side. And what I like to do when the page is maybe shorter than my stamp is I'll just kind of overlap them just a little bit. And then go back in and stamp down. And then I like to keep going around in the same direction. Okay, so... I just stamped all the way around and then let me show you what it looked like so here's the ones I did earlier where I stamped all the way around and it just really changes the look of the page just it makes it to me a little bit more fantasiful or, or magical if you will and I thought this 10 year old little girl that I'm making this journal for is going to really like this. I'm going to put some other stuff on these pages, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like so far. So let's make the next page. So now I have the full unicorn stencil and I'm laying it again on this green paper. Okay. And I'm going to use the same colors. I'm just going to pick up, let's start with the so rocking kind of adding color in here the patina you don't have to use all the colors that i'm using i just wanted a lot of shimmer on the pages i like how sometimes i don't spray in the same spot so you get a little difference of color here and there and yeah it's a lot of of ink <laughs> or paint i'm just gonna lay this on top to mop it up. All right, so I'm just going to peel this apart and I'll peel this one back. Ooh, look at the color. So that's what it looks like. Mine got a little bleedy, but I love the way the mop up looks, especially if there was a lot of tattered angels. It just gives that um, supernatural look to that. And then I took these pages and I did the same thing as the first set. I stamped all the way around. And then I used a star stencil. It's a relatively new stencil. I made it around the 4th of July. And that's what it looks like. I used it on the back side using the same color schemes. And I've got some other elements that I'm going to put on this page, but I'm going to save it for when the journal is done as a flip through. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing, you know, a tutorial of using some stencils and rubber stamps and tattered angels to make some journal pages. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. That's how I get discovered, how people find me is by word of mouth. And so if you could share the videos, it helps me tremendously. I hope you'll come check out the live streams that I have on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. On Mondays, I generally make a journal and on Thursdays, we do mixed media. So it's a lot of fun that we do. And I always have giveaways as well as we give away journals on some of the occasions. All right, everybody. Thank you so, for much, so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.